What's up everybody? Welcome back to another solo leveling arise video. Okay guys, we're going to be doing another showcase today and I already did an SSR last time. So as promised, we're going to do the swap and do an SR and this time we're going to actually talk about a character that might be underutilized but is really really good, especially at breaking everything that comes his way. And that is going to be none other than our golden boy here, Yo Jin Ho. Now, um if you don't know this guy is crazy good when it comes down to breaking. Uh, I would say even on par with back, maybe even a little stronger in the break department. Obviously not in DPS. He's nowhere, he's nowhere near box DPS. Uh, but he does have a pretty damn good kit when it comes down to breaking units. So I'm going to talk a little bit about him, what he's all about, best artifacts, etc. for him. Now, I'm going to do this on my free-to-play account, okay? Because I do use him on my free-to-play account. He is a three, uh, and we're going to go over everything that he is and that he does. One thing I am looking forward to when they finally release it are SR weapons, specifically the artifact weapons for them. Uh, currently, it doesn't exist in the crafting section, but it will eventually come, and I, I am curious to see what his is going to look like so first off let's talk about him as a character let's go to a skill section and discuss this so first off sword and shield is a basic attack you guys can see here he does do light damage uh with his attacks and they're actually fairly high attack power I'll go, going all the way up, up to 168.89 uh attack and remember he scales off of defense making him hella tanky because you're going to build him defense spec right uh his core attack here actually does have a pretty good break as well too it does have break light um and then it has 452 percent and i'll show you guys this in battle how, how easily he breaks things okay uh the basic attack here you can see here my turn uh so this one has a break light when the last attack in the combo hits and inflicts the airborne effect when the skill hits it also stuns the target C can interrupt attacks and also just pretty much nullifies any attack coming in because of that stun and then trust me here is da damage 930 percent of user's defense 12 seconds and cooldown break is medium believe it or not this is not medium break i promise you it's it's insane break uh applies a defense increased effect on the user increasing his defense by 20 percent of course giving him more damage at that point and overall survivability his support skill is very straightforward uh he comes in does a break for you at medium causes airborne as well too and also leaves a potion behind if you grab that potion with sun jin Wu, you get a five percent of your hp recovered from obtaining that potion actually pretty useful to keep you alive and then speaking of potion it's my turn uh jinho gathers energy in the shield while in the air next he slams it on the ground and then when he does that he does a light break and also recovers five percent of his own hp and then here with ultimate uh he does elemental damage 2192 uh, percent increases the defense by 40 percent for 15 seconds it's insane so make sure you are attacking when this is up causes airborne and you can see here that defense is pretty high so when this does happen guys start using your skills because your skills will do that much more damage now in terms of passives uh when he does my turn trust me or i'll protect you he creates a potion near the user upon obtaining a potion he recovers eight percent of his hp his own hp this is 20 second cooldown when he does trust me creates an aura that deals damage equal to 70 percent of the defense every second during the duration of the buff so you'll see a golden aura. I'll show you guys that. This one uses uh, increases the user's HP by 8%, which kind of confused me on why it's HP based because he scales off of defense for everything. So I don't, I don't understand why they increased the HP. I don't know if that was a mistake, but it is what it is, HP based. Uh, when the user uses Trust Me, he also applies a shield on himself for 20% of the user's HP. So you can see here that does scale at least off the HP. There you go, A4, it does increase defense and then applies all effects below when obtaining a potion. Recovers HP equal to 12% of his max HP. Applies attack increase effect. Applies a shield. So this here kind of confused me. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't know why the hell he's getting attack. Because he scales off of defense, right? So clearly attack does something for these characters. Uh, maybe off their basic attack. I'm not even sure. But even basic attacks say it scales off of the user's defense. So I'm not sure what exactly the purpose of that is. So his kit's a little bit all over the place. Um, and I'm still learning to understand how it works. Now, in regards to artifacts, you want the break set up for him as much as possible because he will literally break everything in sight. Uh, and then here, you guys can see, I just pretty much have anything I possibly can for him. Uh, nothing currently for rings. Uh, I think the best ones for him are going to be uh, most likely the tag in tag out to give everybody else a little bit more attack power that's probably what i'll do is probably go aquamarine for him and then just use that going forward okay so that's my setup i'm going to show you guys a quick fight here and just show you guys his breaking ability more importantly so for those people who don't have a good breaker like if you don't have bach for example uh, you might want to consider actually getting this guy up because he can push some numbers for you especially in that department so we're going to do the spider uh let's go and do tier two for now just to kind of show you guys how it works now remember this is my sr only account which means i'm using characters who are very very much um weak <laughs> let's go with that uh we're gonna go ahead and give him this actually because this actually does increase the weakness i'm gonna just give him this one for a second hold on guys sorry and then we'll give the basic attack one to uh where is it where is it right here we'll do it this way okay 
Luckily, switching weapons doesn't cost anything, okay? So here we go. So let's jump in here and show you guys a little bit of the break damage and power that he has going on for him, all right? And you guys may consider building this unit afterwards if you are lacking a breaker. Honestly, very underutilized and I think a very powerful overall breaking unit. Now watch this, okay? Check out, check out the break in a second. Look at that. Already there. Look at that one, though. That is crazy, right? Now, see, he has that aura now. That aura does damage. And then when you get to light break, look look how easy that... I'm not even going to finish breaking because I don't want to do that yet. But look how look how much damage it does. Now, if you look back for a second, I'm going to take that off. There's a, there's a little potion kicking around here. That's gone now. Uh, there was a little potion kicking around there. I wanted to at least show you guys what that looked like. But I'll show you guys again in a second. Okay? Um, just gonna get the, let me get through this real quick. Let's do this damage here. Summoning Ross and Shuriken over here. So next thing we're gonna do is gonna break here. Okay, and then when he does this skip, like look at that, attack increase, defense increase, and right here you wanna definitely do all your skills. Now this guy's gonna go up obviously at this point, which we knew was gonna happen. Uh, but you guys can see how quickly he just breaks everything. Don't sleep on this character, I promise you. He will do so much, so much breaking for you guys, especially on tough fights where like break is a major thing, like Igris, or if you're doing a fight on um, on Cerberus, for example, he's actually a really good unit for Cerberus fights as well too, just because of the abilities to break, right? Hold on, let me, let me get her back in again. That was an accident. Talking too much, didn't realize I, I, I moved the skill over. Okay, let's do this up. We'll get him in here now, okay? Here, watch this. Watch this break. Look at that. Look at the amount of break damage he does, man. One more. Watch oh, his core damage. Watch. It's going to break him right here. Oh, I just got to hit him. Oh, you know what? We're just going to break him this way. And then do his ultimate here. Here's some more damage. Put her in. Get a little bit more damage in. Ourselves. Build up the ult. guy's gonna go up in a second oh, so i can kill him yeah we got him we got him okay so there you guys go i'm telling you man i'm telling you guys if you guys need a breaker build this bad boy up not only is he good as a breaking unit on his own but he's also incredible as a support breaker too so if you guys are looking for someone to fill that light spot because you don't have bach or if you don't want anyone who has a light breaker or just a breaker in general Seriously, Jinho is good. Not only that, but the fact that he raises his own defense makes him super tanky. He does more damage because of that. Now, the, again, the kit's a little out there because he does have HP increase as well too, which again, gives him more HP, making him more tanky yet again, right? And then the attack up is what really threw me off. So I'm not sure what attack up necessarily does for someone who scales off of defense. There must be something or else about like, why have it in the kit, right? So something more to explore there. This game is just full of surprises. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that you guys understood how he functioned as a unit. I highly recommend him. Now, if you haven't checked out the tier list, I believe I put him in A tier. Uh, as a breaker, if I were to put him anywhere in the break tier, he'd be S tier. Not top tier, but S tier, like like right below top tier. Again, Bach being the only one that can probably out, out break him. But in most cases, Bach still has to do a lot of damage in order to get to that point, while he just does one attack and pretty much makes you lose a buttload of HP, right? And again, this is on the free-to-play account, so I just want to show you guys how that functions from a free-to-play perspective. I could have done it on my main account as well, too. He is maxed out there, but I just want to show you guys more of a relative term on this character and, and what you can look forward to, even at a lower level scale because I don't even need to use him at a higher level scale because he does so well at this point anyways right so there you guys go uh, any questions you guys may have let me know in the comment section uh, again uh, I recommend him really really do as an SR unit he's he's actually really good and you can always check out the tier list as well to see where he lands on that uh, and we'll be doing more showcases guys next up we're probably gonna do limb as our SSR next SSR and then I'll probably do back as the one following that uh, and then Emma probably after that. And then, of course, some more SRs in between those ones just to let you guys know who's worth it and who's not. All right, guys, it's pain. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.